This scene takes place the next day, April 7th, 1861, in the Chestnut's parlor. What's going on at the fort? What has James told you? Are we at war yet? Julia, we are not at war yet. Not yet, Mary. Come now. Your husband is the head of the army in South Carolina. I know that I know the war council met last night. You must have some news. I can't think that James knows anything that your husband doesn't. Isn't Mr. James the still the con the Confederacy Secretary of State? Oh Mary, you're not fun at all. Don't you think this is the most exciting thing? I've heard enough of this reckless devil may care headstrong thinking. If we go to war, then we must prepare for it. We must develop some patience and persistence. We have enough and too much of this pluck and dash. Mary Chestnut, you are nothing but a black ball of gloom today. I want us to be free of the North as much as anyone. What I cannot understand is why they just will not let us go our own way. I cannot understand how our men can believe that it's all they'll have to do is stand in the line and fire their guns and the Yankees will turn and run away. Don't they know that the North is convinced that they're right and we're, as we're convinced that we're right? We are right. The North is wrong. This whole disagreement has come about because the South has all the problems of slavery while the North makes all the money off the products of the slaves. Good heavens! What would you have us do? Give up our slaves? Ship them to the North? Julia Toombs, sometimes you, sometimes you try my patience. Listen to me. The cotton gets milled, and where does it go? To the north, to the factories, where it's made into clothes and curtains and bedspreads and sails for ships. When these items are sold, who gets the money? The factory owners in the north. We have to use slaves to pick the cotton that the north needs. Now, don't you think reasonable men can sit around the table and come to an agreement that benefits both sides? It's not just a question of money, Mary. The Constitution says that each state can act on its own right. The North wants to outlaw slavery in the southern states. They cannot do it. They have no right to do it. Ah, Julia, the stubborn streak may be the undoing of the South. End of scene.